Welcome to CAT Tutorials and in this video, I'll be doing question 41 from 1.5 exercises in James Stewart Calculus. We are asked to express this as a single log. So let's do that. First, I'm just going to focus on, let's do both of them simultaneously. So if you look at this, we have 1 over 3 multiplied by the length. And there's a rule that says, if you have log of a to the power b, then you can write this as b log a. So we have the 1 over 3 multiplying our log, and we can take it back up there. So that's what we're going to do. And if you take it up, we're going to have 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. So we had this form, and we just took the, this power back to this part. Okay, then on this side, there's a rule that says if you have the log of lin of a over b, you can write this as log a minus log b. And if you have this, you can go back to that. So let's transform this inner part into the lin of x, the first one, divided by this other argument, which is x squared plus 3x plus 2 squared. And once again, we're going to apply the same rule which we applied here. So we're going to take this to the power part of this. So let's just work this out first. So this is just the ln of x plus 2. And on this side, if we take this up, And this is what we're going to have. And having that power of a half is equivalent to having the square root. So you can find the square root of the top and the bottom. Square root of the top would just be this. And at the bottom, we have a squared. So it just cancel that squared effect. And you just have the bracket. Right. Now, at this stage, we're ready to use yet another rule that says if you have log of a multiplied by b, you can express it as log a plus log b. And if you have this, you can take it back to this form. So here we have a plus. We're adding these two. So we can multiply them. And if we multiply them, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have the lin of x plus 2 multiplied by the square root of x over x squared plus 3x plus 2. And we can simplify this because at the bottom here, we can factorize this to the following. So if you factorize the bottom part, you should get x plus 2, x plus 1. So you should always aim to simplify if you can. In this case, we can because we have an x plus 2 at the bottom and at the top, so we can cancel them. And in the end, we just have lin of square root of x over x plus 1. 